All right, while we are on the topic of list rendering, let's understand about conditionally rendering list of elements. For example, you might have 10 items in an array, but want to display only a few of them based on a condition. Or in our example, we have the names array and we want to display only Bruce in the UI. Let's quickly see how to do that. Now we already know how to render list of elements. So if we have names, which is an array of strings, we can use the v4 directive, provide an alias for each name in the array, bind to the key attribute and bind to the inner text. Although this works, it will render Bruce, Clark and Diana. What we want is to render the name only if it is equal to Bruce. Now we have already learned about conditional rendering using the v4 directive. Let's make use of that. So on the h2 element, after the key attribute binding, I'm going to specify vf and the expression to evaluate is name equal to the string Bruce. Here, name refers to the name in the current iteration. This seems perfectly fine, but the ESLint plugin for view throws an error. If I hover on the error, we get more information about it. The names variable inside v4 directive should be replaced with a computed property that returns filtered array instead. You should not mix v4 with vf. Now the first line informs us to use computed properties. However, we haven't talked about what computed properties are. So we will revisit the solution view recommends a few videos down the line. But for now, let's focus on the second sentence. You should not mix v4 with vf. The reason for that is view evaluates the vf expression before the v4 directive. So if the vf expression contains the name alias from v4, at that point, name doesn't exist yet. This will lead to an error in your code. So instead of you committing this mistake, the ESLint plugin warns you not to do that. The recommended solution is to use computed properties, which we of course will learn very soon, but another solution is to use the template tag. So instead of the vif attribute with the v4 attribute, we convert this h2 tag into a template tag. And this tag contains the v4 directive with the key attribute binding. The vif directive is now going to live on an h2 element within this template tag. So h2 vf name is equal to Bruce. And the inner text is going to be name. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that only Bruce is rendered in the UI. All right, you should now have a solid understanding of how to bind text, bind HTML, bind attributes, classes, styles, conditionally render elements, and render a list of elements. In the next video, let's start learning about methods in Vue. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.